Let's talk about the 2023 Central Indiana Market Outlook. I'm Cameron Giesman with Giesman Homes, local Indianapolis realtor, and today I'm in my Mr. Rogers sweater and ready to talk about stats. Yay! So clearly the thing everyone is talking about is that the market is going to crash and there's absolutely no inventory. And only one of those is actually true here locally at this time. Here in central Indiana, there are just under 5,000 active homes for sale, which is low, honestly, for this market. But there's more to the story than that. Well, that and how high egg prices are. <laughs> Back in 2021, the indie market had a record number of transactions sold at about 42,378 homes. That's more exact. This compared to where we consistently hover around, which is around 38,000. Now, indies year over year closed sales declined by 28.8%, while new pending sales declined by 21.3%. And what we are seeing is more comparable to a 2019 level. In addition to that, the median price of homes was also at an all-time high, sitting at about $189,000 in 2019. And in 2022, it peaked at 275,000. And the peaking of home prices wasn't just in Indiana, but all across the country. In 2021 and really even 2022, homes were getting multiple offers and one of our listings even received 30 offers, proving there just wasn't enough homes to keep up with the amount of buyers. The Indie era didn't really just have low inventory, it had fast selling inventory of homes and homes were disappearing off the market because the demand was so extreme, which was in part due to the super low interest rates. Now fast forward to today in January of 2023, and this situation is a little different. True, there's not a lot of inventory to choose from in the Indy area, but homes are also sitting for a bit longer on the market. Now, NAR states that the nation's inventory is at about a 2.9 month supply, which is actually down from 3.3 in November. But here in central Indiana, we ended in December at about a 1.6 month supply. That was down from November as well. This means that central Indiana is not seeing as big of a slowdown as much as the nation is. I believe this is because the buyer demand was still a bit higher here locally, but overall we still saw a slowdown due to the winter months. Totally normal. Even though there was a slowdown, which was expected, we are seeing more and more buyers entering the market and feel that we are approaching somewhat of a more normal market here locally. We currently have a small window where buyers are seeing the benefits of the market, which really wasn't the case in 2022, with the average days on the market increasing, sellers get concerned when their home hasn't sold in 24 or 48 hours. This is leaving that window open for buyers to make an offer and potentially not be competing with other buyers. Right now, buyers aren't having to offer over list price with an appraisal gap and no inspection, and they aren't getting loans in the 7% range. I don't think this is going to last very long though because the buyers that left the market because of the high rates and all the competition are still looking and entering back into the market. If new listings continue to stay at an all-time low here in central Indiana, and rates stabilize and don't go up, I believe this spring and summer, we're going to have another small frenzy, maybe not as, ex as extreme with 30 offers on one house, but there will definitely be some co competition and we're already seeing that right now. This is good news for our market and illustrates why I don't believe there's going to be a housing crash like there was in 2007, eight or nine. There just isn't enough inventory to then cause prices to drop and there are still a lot of buyers looking to make a move. Does rising inventory and more buyers entering the market mean prices will go down? Probably not, but that also means prices probably won't increase very much as well. Now, like I said before, with in 2019, the median price being at 189 and in 22 being 275, that is a 45% increase in three years, which is astonishing. Even if the market goes down by only 3%, that isn't a crash, it's a restabilization of the market. So what does that mean to you if you're considering buying or selling a home in the near future in central Indiana? Well, as a buyer, here are three things to think about. 
one. You may still have to sacrifice some of those wants versus needs, especially if it's hard to find that perfect home. Secondly, you may need to expand your search to different areas if the area you're looking in is just too competitive. Of course, working with a real estate agent that is familiar with the area like us is the best way to find a home that fits your budget and your lifestyle. Now, the third thing is get yourself pre-approved with a lender before you start looking at homes. This is because you may walk into that dream home and you may lose out because someone else gets their offer accepted first because they're pre-approved with a lender. Now sellers, as a seller, low inventory means less competition, especially in the winter. Waiting until spring to list your home could cost you because as the spring market heats up, more and more homes will hit the market, resulting in more competition. If your home is in a great location or has features buyers want, you may have multiple offers heading your way, already happening. But on the other hand, higher mortgage interest rates have pushed some of those buyers out of the market. So if your house isn't the most appealing house around, it may take a bit longer to sell. Make sure to talk through all of your options and know your plan for listing your home in this 2023 market. So there you have it our Indianapolis and surrounding areas 2023 market projections. If you want more neighborhood specific information, we are here to help. We would love to chat more and make sure you click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to be notified when we post more videos like this. We hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time.